So today I want to talk about my newfound appreciation for moms of multiples and their kids are so close together in age. I'm like talking, you know, they have a two-year-old, a three-year-old, and a four-year-old or just something like that where their kids are really close together in age, probably nothing more than two years apart. And the reason I gained this new appreciation, which not that I didn't know the struggle it was before, but I, I've experienced it firsthand a couple times in the last month and a half. My friend Waddle has brought her son Brian over to my house since I've been here almost every day. There has been times that I've watched him solely by myself with Joey. So I've had Joey, Brian, and the two dogs. And having a two-year-old, a three-year-old, and two dogs has literally turned my world upside down, put it, put it that way easily. It was so hard to divvy myself up between at least the two kids, because the dogs I'm not really worried about. I can mostly test them and throw them in, but it's the two kids that were really worried me because they're two different people. They have two different personalities. Brian is this adventurous, you know, daredevil, and Joey's this laid-back conservative. Like, he it just, it doesn't take much to make him happy and content. So when Brian's here, Joey's, like, following behind him, and they're doing stuff that normally Joey wouldn't do, but hey, Brian's here, Brian's doing it, Joey wants to do it too, because he just, he thinks it's fun. And it just, it amazes me the new, like the new knowledge I have of what parents go through that have multiples that are so close together. The, the struggles, the wanting to pull your hair out, the just feeling completely like you're just run down. I think my biggest eye-opener was Sunday when I took both boys to go food shopping with me. Normally taking Joey, it is so easy, it's so quick, I'm just in and out and done. Sunday, I was in there for an hour and a half because the boys were crying or they were trying to get out of the little car or they were pulling stuff off the shelves. It was just nerve-wracking and I'm just, I'm sitting in the store and I'm like, oh my god, people are looking at me like I can't control my kids. First of all, one's not mine, but, you know, I can't control the kids that are with me. And I actually had a lady come up to me, and she's like, I hope this makes you want to not have another one. And I'm just, I'm, I was thrown off by it. I'm like, I, I didn't know what to say. So the only thing I did say is, one of them's not mine. One of them's my best friend's kid. I only have one. Am I content with him? Yes. Would I like another? Yes. But I don't want them that close together because now seeing it, I'm so happy that Chris and I waited. Like I said, I have a newfound appreciation for moms that their kids are close together because you know what? You are amazing if you can handle a two-year-old, a one-year-old, and a, you know, a three-month-old or whatever. Just because it is hard and I've experienced it and it's crazy. So if you're a mom of multiples and your kids are close together in age, a round of applause for you because you guys are amazing if you can handle it all and manage you know housework and your job and you know your relationship I applaud you because I don't think I could do it and I'm being completely honest I really don't think I could do it and I'm okay with that I'm okay with that but like I said it just was an eye-opener and even though I never I don't want to have two kids close together in age it just, it confirmed it. I want to wait till Joey's <laughs> maybe five, six to have another one. Um, but I'm, I'm just amazed by what I learned just by babysitting someone else's kid of my own. So yeah, I just, I'm amazed. So I hope you guys like this video. If not, oh well, I don't know what else to tell you. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys.